Good evening, morons. It is 12.34 a.m. on Saturday night, and here I am with another J News. Today's J News is going to be quite a bit, quite a long one, and it's about something strange, well, I think it's a little bit strange, that we do in Japan every year, and it's uh, picking the most popular buzzword of the year. This happened, uh, this happens every year. Last year, I think it was Tripurus, Tripurus 3, which is a, a, a baseball-related uh, expression. Uh, when a baseball player accomplishes, uh, is able to like steal 50 bases and hit 50, 50, make 50 hits or something like that. Anyways, they do three, three, it's like a hat trick, I suppose, but, but they, they have their own standards in Japan. Anyway, that was last year's, that's not, that's, that was last year. This is this year. So let's go on to this year. As you can see by the, the uh, is I'm looking at Japan's art, uh, Times article and it's an excellent article because it goes through every word. Sorry, that's, that's, uh, that's Tomoko. I asked her a question about something else. Another J News. I can't uh, story I heard about. It. I'm trying to find the original Japanese uh, because you know it's we, we, we try to treat uh, teach you Japanese when we do these things. If you're new to the channel, by the way, so this is basically we're going to talk about some uh, some recent news in Japan and teach you a little bit of Japanese. So so basically the news is that every year in Japan, um, Japan picks a buzzword of the year, right? And uh, this this year the word is kamiteru. Kamiteru. And Kamiteru uh, is something actually that Tomoko um, brought up on her channel, I think about a year ago, because it's a young person's word or expression. And it basically means, uh, it's used when someone does a great job. And you're like, you're like, literally means godding it. So you did like a god's job. You just kicked ass is basically what it means. Now this is this year's uh, winner. And although it's been around a while, it became popular this year because the Carps, sorry about that, because the Carps baseball team, the Hiroshima Carps, won the pennant this year. And everyone thought it's just like, they just played great. And the coach used that expression, which he picked up from his children, uh, to describe the, the, the great job that the Carps did. That'll stop in a minute, so uh, please ignore that. Anyway, maybe I, can, maybe I can just kill the sound somewhere. Sorry. Okay, while we do that, uh, where's the sound? Where's the sound here? I don't even know where the sound is on this thing, but this is the, uh, oh man, this will work. I got a couple computers and sometimes they have different um, different uh, keys to, to control them. Anyway, the new computer works differently. So anyway, uh, let's go through the list uh, of some of the some of the candidates this year. So I always thought this was strange. Oh, by the way, this is sponsored by a company called Yukan and I believe they make like educational books. So it's called the Yukan Shingo, which means new. Uh, new word, uh, ryo, ryo kogo, which is, ryu, I'm sorry, ryu kogo, which is uh, literally the the popular word. And I think I might have made a, uh, yeah, there it is, ryu kogo, here we go. So this expression here is, yeah, it's called the uh, ryu kogo taisho, or the, the, the um, contest, but top buzzword of the year. So shingo is new. There it is, Shingo New, new literally new word. And New Kogo Taisho is the contest for the best word, the, the buzzword of the year. And uh, this word is also comes from pro, basque, uh, pro basketball, not pro baseball, which is pro yakyu. Yakyu. And yakyu, uh, pro yakyu. There we go. And the winner, the Yusho winner this year is Kamiteru, which is right here. And the explanation from Japan Times is superhuman behavior. So basically, when someone does a great job, you can say kamiteru. The, this is a really weird word because the first word, if you can see this here, the first um, kanji there literally means God. See? This kanji here literally means God right there. That kanji. Let's just blow that up so you can see it. That literally means God. So, And teru is like ing. This would be ing. So you're godding it, basically. Okay. So let's look at some of the other candidates this year. We had Asurit Fast, and I'm going to give you a link to this so you can actually go and copy the Japanese if you're interested in that. Athletes first. Uh, this is because, of course, the Olympic Games are coming, so they're they're trying to push that. And we should think about the athletes first. So Asurit, asu, and remember, the, this is a katakan, this is a Japanese version of the English athlete, with a word which would be pronounced Asurito, Asurito Fast first. Okay, that's the first one. Next one is... Uh, Atarashi Handan, new judgment. And there's nothing special about that. Atarashi means new and Handan means judgment, so nothing special there. You can look at the um, 
you can look at the uh, specifics of each word uh, here. Uh, you can, uh, check the link and you can read about that. Here's one that I, I was surprised at, and it's actually much more what the word is about. This, this contest is about bringing up words that are kind of new to society, and this is a good example. Uh, of course, the Asurit Fast is one, too. Aruki Smaho. So, Smaho is the way Japanese say smartphone. So, Aruki Smaho is, as you can see, Smaho, sorry, as you can see from the picture, is just walking with your, and looking at your smartphone. Here's a word that you should know, it's a, and I've taught this before, it's Ridatsu, Ridatsu, which is Brexit, basically, leaving, leaving the union, uh, EU, leaving the EU union, and that's uh, bre Brexit, you know. Uh, AI is, an, is not a new word, but it became popular this year because of a computer uh, program called AlphaGo. Uh, let's see, we, all have, we have a uh, anime-related uh, word this year, which is called Osomatsu-san, which is a story about... Um, actually, I, I, I've heard this is really popular, but I don't, I've never actually read this anime. But it ended this year, and I, I think the, the, um, the man manga author died? No, it's the 80, oh no, it's his 80th birthday. And it ended its run this year in March. Okay, this is the winner, Kamiteru, as I told you, which means superhuman behavior. There we go. And it's and the, and there is the Carps player, watching baseball uh, games in Japan. If you ever get a chance, uh, they're really fun. Uh, they're uh, yeah, they're fun. They're interesting. Uh, people do things in almost uh, almost like in a in a choreographed dance the way they do it. Okay. Here's another really popular manga that also I think became a movie called Kimi no Nawa, which means uh, your name. Literally your name. Uh, as you know, there was there was a earthquake in uh, Kyushu, and uh, this is the character. Many of the cities in Japan have their little mascots, and this is Kumamon, who is one of the most popular mascots. And this uh, expression this year, this this uh, candidate for the buzzword of the year is Kumamon Gambare E. Now E at the end means picture. What happened was after the earthquake hit uh, Kum uh, Kumamoto in Kyushu in April, people started drawing their pictures, their own drawings of Kumamon, kind of to support to support um, the earthquake hit area. And um, this this uh, I guess hashtag so to speak is Chira Kumamon pictures. Uh, so it, anyway, it became very popular, and a, and a few famous uh, manga artists also took place. Anyway, uh, took part. Sorry. Here's one I'd never heard of, but it's kind of cool. It's Gesu Furin. Now, Gesu, you might think, means guess, like take a guess, but it doesn't seem to mean that. It seems to come from the rock band Guess no Kiwami Otome, which is a rock band, and the lead singer was married, and he had an affair with Becky, and you might have heard about there, that, and it became a big scandal because Becky claimed she didn't know he was married, and uh, and as a result, uh, he he his band didn't suffer at all, but sh because of the because of the the way Japan works, uh, 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 not really arguably, but pretty sexist. Uh, she was banned off television for a few months, so she suffered quite a bit. Uh, another one I don't know is Saito San Dazo, which means I am Saito. If you say Dazo at the end or San Dazo, it means I am that person. So I would say Victor San Dazo, I am Victor. But it's kind of weird to say that. Because usually you don't say "son" about yourself. Uh, another another one which is popular all over America too right now in Brazil is "jika," netsu, uh, Zika fever, Zika. So in, in Japanese you wouldn't say "jika," you you wouldn't say "zika," you would say "jika," "jika," "jika netsu," and "netsu" means fever. Uh, another one is "shin gojira." Remember in Japanese you don't say "Godzilla," you say "gojira." "Shin" means new. "Shin gojira." Um, one big news this year was the fact that SMAP, which is the the uh, the perennial, it's a perennial. It's the the ancient um, boy band. And when I came to Japan, these guys were handsome and young and in their teens. And now they're I don't know how old they are now. They're in their forties, late forties maybe. But they're finally breaking up. And it's been a big. It's been a long time coming. There was a bit of a scare earlier and. and it's, it's for some reason, uh, apparently the fact that they will break up. I've had some salary men in my class say, oh, this is going to damage the economies of like Hong Kong or, and other parts of China because this band is so popular that they, they actually power, they're the engines behind these economies that exist in other countries that all they do is promote these bands, right? They make their living off these bands. Anyway, the, the name of the band is SMAP. Uh, which I forgot what it actually means. What does map mean? I forgot what it means. But anyway, it's a, it's a group. You can look it up if you want. But they're, they're, 
I used to hate them. I thought they were stupid, but uh, I grew to like them because they're they are on almost every single channel. It seems it seems like they're always on TV, and they had a show called Smap 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 Smap, right? And one of the characters, uh, they would cook. They would bring on a guest and cook for him, and the, and the guest would pick uh, the food they want. And they would have a talk. It was a talk show, and they had these little corners like people I like to meet, and they would bring on someone that some guy wanted to meet. One of the members wanted to meet, and but one of the things I really enjoyed was this was one of the few shows where they actually parodied uh, celebrities. In Japan, parodying celebrities is unheard of. You don't have like in the states where we have like Bush parodies and Obama parodies or, or impersonators. You don't see that at all. But one of the characters named Shingo, Katori Shingo, would actually uh, have a guest on, and he would dress up like that guest and make fun. It, you know, it was all in jest and, and it was all good, good natured fun. And I'm sure they agreed to it. Um, but it was really rare, and it was great to see. I, I like to see that Japanese could do this, and because you know, I feel like they always take them, take themselves a little bit too seriously. Uh, in the states, even Obama gets uh, gets uh, made fun of, and that's something that just does not happen in Japan. The next word is seichi junrei, which again I do not know. Um, uh, I do. I, you look at the kanji. Is it seichi? Oh, maybe this has to do with Pokemon. No, maybe not. Okay, so seichi. I'm sorry, it's not seichi. Seichi. Uh, Se means holy, and Chi means place. And Jun Rei is, Jun is a circulation, and Rei is pray, so together we have holy pilgrimage, and I don't know what this refers to. Oh, it's visiting real life uh, places that appear in anime. So if there's a famous place in an anime, and you go visit that place, that would be called Sei Chi Jun Rei. Well, that's interesting, I didn't know that, and I have not done that. Anyway. Uh, but apparently, thanks to a few uh, animes, a few towns in Japan have um, have benefited uh, tourist-wise. Okay, the next one is Sentensu Spring. Sentence Spring, and again, this is a... What is this? Oh, again, this is connected to the Becky affair with that rock musician that we talked about, Gestu Furin. Furin, by the way, is uh, the way we say affair in Japan, which is easy to remember because it's similar to the English fling. But anyway, this has to do something something to do with that, again. Oh, and who leaked it? Shukan Bunshu. So Bu Sh Shukan Bunshun is Japan's national inquirer. <laughs> uh, rag, it's gossip, uh, go gossip mag. Uh, not not just that, but um, they, they like to concentrate on that as well. Or they like to they like to expose things. Okay, the next one is Takamatsu Pea. Takamatsu is a Japanese name, but as you can see here, it's written in katakana because it's kind of cool that way. And this is the nickname given to these athletes, Ayaka Takahashi and Misaki Matsumoto. So it's a little bit, um, yeah, this is cool. This is a little bit like Brangelina, which is something that uh, I had trouble uh, teaching to Japanese until I found this because they do it in Japan too. They take the, the, the uh, parts of the, of the names and put them together. So in this case, you have these two people. One is named uh, Takahashi and the other name is Matsumoto and they put them together and they call them Takamatsu. Pea, of course, does not mean pear as enough that you edible, not a, not a fruit, but a pair of people, of two people. Okay. Um, tomin fasto. Again, we have the word fast. Fasto, which means first. And in this case, Tokyoites first. Uh, tomin, I think, means citizen, citizen of a city, but in, in this case, Tokyo, Tokyoites. And this is a slogan by the Tokyo governor, Yuri Ko Koike, which is, I think, the first female governor of, of, uh, of Tokyo. Uh, the next word is one of my favorites. It's called Torampu Gensho, and Gensho means phenomenon. Trump, of course, is the Japanese, Torampu is the Japanese form of Donald Trump. And it's the phenomenon that they're talking about, which, uh, which I think you love him or hate him, he, we have to agree that what happened this year was a phenomenon. Okay, and, and you probably heard about the Panama Papers, and that also translated into Japanese as Panama Buncho. Uh, Buncho also, also means sentence, but in this case, papers. Panama Buncho is something that uh, was scandalous all over the world, and it, it, it was also picked up and nominated as one of the top buzzwords of the year. Uh, here's another one, Bikuri Pon. Uh, yes, um, using pon some t uh, in words is kind of cute, and Bikuri means uh, surprised. So this comes from the NHK drama Asaga Kita, uh, which means um, tomorrow has come, or morning has come, Asa? Asaga Kita. I think that means asa, morning has come. Anyway, I could be wrong. I, I don't see the kanji here, so it's hard to tell. But anyway, um, bikuripon is just, I'm surprised. Uh, this is something that you say. Uh, she coined, it's an it's a expression that was coined by this drama. Okay, next word. 
Uh, Boon Shun Ho. And by the way, if I'm incorrect or if you have anything to add to any of these words, please do so in the comments. Uh, I'm not an expert on all these. There's too many for me to research. It would take forever. The next one is Boon Shun Ho. Scandal scoops by Shun Shukan Boon Shun, which I just mentioned to you, which is kind of the scandal scandal rag of Japan. Uh, Boon Shun is part of the name of the magazine, and Ho is the way to, way to say scoop in this case. Uh, they were very successful this year in uncovering many scandals and affairs and things like that. Uh, let's see. I think Ho means uh, shoot, shooting something, this kanji here. Yeah, I, th I believe it's shoot. So uh, that's the way we, they, j the Japanese would say uh, to expose something or a scoop. Scoop, something. scoop, by the way, is also Japanese. They will say that. Now, as you saw in the beginning of today's uh, video, this guy, and this is uh, this is the guy. What's his name? Com this is Picotaro, who's who my students have told me is a failed comedian, but now of course he's extremely successful, and he is also on the list. And PPAP is one of the um, one of the uh, candidates for the buzzword of the year. Another one, which is really I thought really cool, was a story about a housewife who couldn't find daycare a daycare place for her child, so she wrote a blog about it, and in it she said. Hoiku, hoikuen, uh, is that right? Hoikuen ochita, which mean, och, ochita means to fall or fail, and hoikuen means your nursery school. So then she wrote Nihon Shine, die Japan. So literally, uh, didn't get a day, daycare slot, drop dead Japan. Well, that's not literal. Literally, it's hoikuen ochita, failed, failed nursery school, Japan die. That's literally speaking. But, but it became, uh, of course, that that idea resonates with a lot of people. And I can tell you, as a as a as a new father, that um, my son, when we first applied for nursery school, he didn't get it, and we had to wait three more months uh, before he got in. Okay. The next one, I don't know, but it's it's a uh, Italian amore, which means love. And let me see. In June, Japan soccer player Yuto Nak. Nagam Tomo admitted that he was dating actress Aidi Taida, saying she is my amore, my love. Okay, cool. So that's nice. Nice romantic one. Never heard of that one. Pokemon Go, of course, uh, is another word that was very popular this year all over the world. I was, um, I was able to hear one of the creators of Pokemon Go give a speech when I was in San Francisco. And it was really inspiring. I had no interest in really in this game. Not much of an interest, but after hearing... How it was uh, came it came to be. It was a pretty interesting story. So um, I'll, I don't really play it, but it's it, it's pretty inspiring to hear how they came up with it and how many people how many people's lives were changed by this game. Uh, so I used to be kind of a negative hater about this, but not anymore. Anyway, next one. This is something that's also been very controversial in Japan. It's the minus interest rate. So in Japan, for years, they the interest rate you get on keeping your money in the bank has been tiny, and now uh, I don't think this really applies to consumers, but for bigger uh, companies. If you keep a lot of mo money in the bank, they actually will charge you a negative interest rate. So basically, they're encouraging you to spend money, go out there and spend money to stimulate the economy. So, and uh, this, Japan is not the only country to do this, but that in Japanese is called minus kinri. Kinri, kin is the kanji for uh, money, by the way. So the first part of that word is minus, which is a uh, katakana word, uh, katakana uh, Japanese 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 version of English minus. But in Japanese, it's minus. I guess it's almost the same pronunciation, isn't it? Minus. Minus. Kindi. Kindi is interest. And the next word is minpaku. Don't know this one either. Paid accommodation in private homes. So that's probably, sounds almost like, um, oh, uh, it slipped my mind. What is that? Everyone's doing it now. When you come to Japan, you can actually get these. You know, when you rent someone's house, room, in a, someone's house or an apartment. Damn it, what's that called? Well, you know what it's about. But anyway. Let's see, they're, they're loosening up restrictions on this. This is called minpaku. Okay, so they're going to be doing more of this. Um, God, what is that called? Oh, my God. So many of my friends have come to Japan and have done that. Okay, anyway. This was a very controversial topic, the next word, which is called morido, layer of clean soil. So as you may have heard, one of the most interesting things, if you ever get a chance to see, is the uh, Tsukuji, Tsukuji, is that right? Tsuku, Tsukiji, Tsukiji fish market in Tokyo. Uh, and it's really cool, lots of fish. But they closed it off to tourists a few years ago because tourists were just being a pain in the ass and touching too many fish and getting in the way of the business. But uh, uh, there have been plans in the, f in the last few years to move it to a different location. But they found out there was a there was a problem with the new location. So those 
um, they've stopped that. And part of the problem is they need a la layer of clean soil. A layer of fresh soil was missing underneath the main structure. So the, the, they, they fear that the new area may be a bit toxic. So anyway, because of that, they have the new expression, morido. Morido. Um, mori means mixed up, I believe. And do means uh, well, so layer. Uh, I mean the soil. Soil. So there we go. La last word is regashi. Regashi. And this refers to, uh, I believe, Yuriko Koike's desire to leave a legacy in, in Tokyo because of the Tokyo Games coming in the 2020 Olympics. They want to build something, and 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 uh, she wants she wanted the Tokyo Games to leave a legacy. So, so she started using this word, and it became popular. I I didn't know that one. So okay. Anyway, that's your long ass lesson for today. I'm trying to do for uh, December. And especially for uh, the people who contribute to Patreon as a kind of a thank you. But I will share uh, as many of these videos as possible. I'm going to try to do as many J News as possible. Five, at least five, at least one uh, every weekday. Um, so although it's, it's Saturday now, I didn't do one on Friday because I was very busy. So this is your Friday one, uh, a little bit late. But anyway, that's your video for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Long ass video. Hope you appreciate it. Hope you uh, liked it. Hope you learned something. Check out the link in the description and study uh, study some Japanese, and you'll know what the Japanese are talking about. At at the very at the very least, you should remember kamiteru because that's the word that everyone's talking about this year. Thanks for watching, and talk to you guys soon.